We asked in Common Sense Contracting, our Facebook group, for contractors in the group to send in their truck designs and we would critique them for them. Okay, so now before you worry about what is about to go down, this is not calling any one person out, this is calling the industry out because ultimately what we're out to do today is up-level the entire contracting industry. Strap yourself in, let's get into it. Okay, so first wrap we have here is from Troy. This is an excavation contracting company. This wrap right off the bat is great. There's a few different things going on here and we're gonna kinda get into it more and more as the video goes on. But I wanted to start off with the best one here. First off, you can see it's eye-catching. These colors right on the front and back, you're immediately drawn to it. That's the first thing that you need to do. Then we have a nice big focal point here, Establish 2020, Excavation, Contractors, LLC, and we have some clear call to actions. This is great. If I was gonna change anything, here's what I would do. This list, this bulleted list right here, you wanna stay from this as much as possible. On truck wraps, there's a few kind of like key laws to come back to and you want as minimal ad copy as possible. So that's like minimizing the amount of words and things for people to look at so that when they see it in a split second, they can just see it, get an idea, get more of a feeling for who you are, and then they can take these call to actions and then really find out who you are. You aren't trying to sell from the wrap altogether, you're just trying to give them an impression of who you are and create that brand recognition. The second thing I would change would be something about this phone number here, but that's gonna come up a lot, so we're gonna to get to that in a later wrap. Just remember that because we'll be coming back to that. Okay, second wrap here. This is Aaron Reynolds. He says, I'm changing my business to Nashville Water Gardens, but open to learning anything I can about marketing slash branding. Here's my landscaping truck. Uh, I like that it's mostly wrapped like the last one. Um, very clean, very easy to read. Uh, brand here, clean earth, lawn and landscape, electric, organic, quiet. What I love about this one is that right there, that tagline, that's something that we were missing on the first one. What I would have done is taken those bullets from the first one and replaced it with something like a tagline. This all goes back to your branding. You need to have this stuff kind of figured out before you just dive headfirst into a wrap. Take some time and figure out who your brand actually is and the real value you provide. We have a few videos on that. I'll link one of them right here if you need to do that first. And let's get back into it. So one of the other things I like about this is how simple and friendly it is. A lot of times what we see contractors do is they do something that looks really cool, really gritty that they would like to see, but a homeowner doesn't necessarily want to see that. They want to see somebody looks, that looks friendly. They want to see somebody that's trustworthy. That's what this says to me. A um, couple of changes. Typically you don't want to use photos like this, both because of the quality of the photo. It could be a little bit pixelated and you don't want to be associated with something that's not super clean. So if, to redesign this, I would probably get rid of that guy and let's take this logo and let's blow it up even bigger. Let's make it like known. So the second thing I would change about this wrap is there's so many call to actions here. We have Facebook, we have Instagram, we have the website and we have the phone number. I pulled up the social media. So Aaron, I'm pulling up your social media here. I hope you don't mind. And honestly, man, this is good stuff. Like you're posting the right stuff, you're active. If a client comes here, they're gonna see that you're posting and it looks like a trustworthy brand. So that's great to see both on Facebook and on Instagram, same post, just two different versions of it. That's excellent to see. The best case scenario for this though is to get them to the website. Logan talks about this all the time. This is where you can sell from, this is your friend, this will get people into your world. The truck just lets them know that you're there but the website can help you sell, and that's what converts. So as far as design, it's great. The functionality could be improved. I would make those couple of changes, and other than that, this is a great wrap. Okay, this is where things start to get a little bit dicey. Um, these next couple wraps need, need a little bit more work. If this video has been helpful to you so far, go ahead and leave it a like, because what we're trying to do is we aren't trying to just help these four contractors here. We're trying to change the whole industry. So you leaving a like on this video shows YouTube it's a good video and then it can be helpful to more and more contractors because ultimately our goal is to change the industry. Okay, let's just get into it. Okay, so right here we have Aquacetic Plumbing and Draining. This is Dylan Jackson. He posted it. Um, okay, a few things. So right off the bat we have a truck, a van, and a trailer. The truck and the van are extremely minimalistic. It's really just the window sticker here, nothing on the side of the truck, and on this van, it might even just be one of those magnets placed on there. Don't do this. 
This is a huge missed opportunity. If you're going to be driving around in this van, don't just do this part of the way. If you're going to wrap your, your truck and you're going to spend money on this, do it all the way because going 50-50 doesn't really help you. You need to, if you're going to invest in this thing, decide that you're going to invest in it and then actually spend the money on it. It doesn't help to have just a tiny little bit here and there. It's okay, but it's not going to do nearly as much for you. You aren't going to see nearly as high of a return on your investment. Now for the trailer. We have a good logo. It looks like Aquacetic Plumbing and Drains, where value and quality intersect. Good tagline, talking about the value. We specialize in a ton of text. That's got to go. All of this has to go. You aren't trying to sell them on this one little thing. Let me, let's just think about this for a second. That's never going to work, and let's think about why. You as a consumer, if you're looking to get these services done, you see something going along the road with a ton of text, that's not going to be appealing to you. What you need to go for is you need to find something that taps into the emotion right away, something that taps right in immediately into something a little bit more punchy. They can find this stuff on your site. Let them go there for that. If there is something I do like about this, though, it's the clear call to action, the clear phone number. Once again, I still think phone number could be improved, and we'll get to that with the very last wrap, but I would overhaul this wrap entirely. I would take off all this text. Let's go ahead and take the light blue, some of these design elements here, the waves, and let's cover the back half in that, that lighter blue and do something with this pipe too. Maybe make the pipe come down like that. The idea is to just draw the eye in, give them the feeling of your brand, give them the value statement. We are value and quality intersect. It's a little vague, but it's better than nothing, and get them to your site. Okay, last but not least here, let's, let's combine every single thing we've seen so far into this last wrap. This is Levi Whitney, uh, Law Corp Carpentry Company. Um, this is what his setup looks like right now. Levi says, I would love to get this professionally critiqued. I've had two designers plus myself make some changes and some ideas. Let's look at these two companies, see what they did for him. Before I show you these designs here from the two companies, let's take what we learned and say, okay, how does this design make me feel? What is my eye immediately drawn to? Are there clear call to actions? What is my immediate impression of this company? Because you only have a split second with a truck wrap. So what is my immediate impression? Okay, now let's look at these wraps. Here's company one. And here's company two. Okay, so we have a few different options on both of these. Here's what I'm going to say. All of these are pretty bad. The worst thing about all of this right here is this text that's on every single one of these. This text on the back windows here. Custom carpentry, turnkey remodeling. Once again, it just tells you what he does, not what the impact is on the consumer. Let's talk about the change that they're making in their space. What's the carpentry doing for them? Are you building a deck? Are you building an outdoor living space? What are you doing? Let's see more of that kind of wording on there instead of custom carpentry, turnkey remodeling. Not to mention that this is incredibly hard to read. All of this tiny text, get rid of it. It's, it's awful. It, <laughs> it, I'm, I, don't wanna, like, I don't wanna be mean to this, but I just want it to be the best it can be, and um, this is not it. This is not it. It's, it looks very complex, all the different designs and everything, um, and it overall just looks cheap. And if your truck wrap looks cheap, who are you going to attract? You're going to attract cheap clients, people who hound you about your prices and aren't as worried about the quality. Let's look at design company two. Okay, so we got four different options here. Immediately, I like these better, and I'm drawn most to design option C. Levi, if you just had to pick one of these designs from both companies, this is the one I would go with, and let me explain why. Building the future. That's an excellent tagline. We didn't have anything like that on the last truck. That's so much better than saying what you do. Now you're going after the transformation you're providing. Law Corp Carpentry, that's a very high-end looking logo. It looks nice. And then we have a few calls to action. Once again, we're going to change a few things. The, the last thing I like this, and the reason I picked 
design option C over D is purely just for this green line right here. I think we need more of that on the truck. What I would do is I would take that and extend it all throughout the back, then put the building and future over that. Let's get rid of this Instagram um, and email. No, more and more people are wanting to do more research before ever contacting a salesman. They aren't gonna be excited about reaching out through email or phone number. And that's where we keep coming back to with this phone number thing. If you do not have another option, the phone number is great. However, you are kind of setting yourself up for failure there. More and more, consumers want to learn about your product before ever reaching out. And so the biggest obstacle to them is overcoming that, that reach out. If they don't know anything about you and the first thing you say to do is to call you personally, a lot of people that's gonna, that's gonna weed them out because they're nervous of having that kind of interaction. Buyers don't want to say no to a salesman, so they want to be decently sure that they're going to say yes before they ever talk to you. So instead of putting your phone number on there, let's send them to something like your website. Your website will then sell for you. You can set it up in a way to sell for you. We have another video on that. In fact, there's gonna be two videos right here. This one right here is about selling from your website and how to set up your website. And this one right here, if you don't have a website right now, is about your voicemail. These two are crucial because your truck wrap is only as good as the sales tools that you get them to. So check out these videos and let's change the industry together.